Welcome to my geometric construction practice. So what I'm going to work on today is I'm going to create an OG curve that's parallel between segments AB and CD. First thing I need to do with this is I need to connect points B and C with a line. What I can do now is I can divide this line into four parts. So I'm just going to use the divide command. I've changed my point style so I can see the points. And there's my four points. What I can do now is I can drop or draw perpendicular lines, one dropping from point B and one extending up from point C. I've got my two my two vertical lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that's perpendicular to um, line BC. And what I'm going to use for this is a handy tool in the rotate command. So I'm going to rotate my line and I'm going to keep a copy of my line as I rotate it. So C for copy, enter 90. I have this line that's been created and I can copy this line and I'm going to put it at my other node. By using that rotate tool I've been able to find an intersection here. So I'm just going to extend this line to this line here just so I have that intersection. And what I can use is the intersections that are created as the center points for circles. And so I'm going to go into the circle tool. And I don't know what my radius is going to be here, so this is my center. And I'm going to just select point B. And I can see that my OG curve is tangent at point B and it passes through this midpoint at C, or it passes through the midpoint of line BC. And I'm going to repeat that circle command. I'm going to select this point here, and so I had no idea what these radiuses were going to be, and by using the construction techniques, I found the center, drew a radius, and now I can see that I have my curve. So I'm going to go into the trim command, and I'm going to trim off a whole bunch of pieces of line here. So by getting rid of those pieces of line, those arcs, get rid of the construction lines that I used, and I can delete the points, I was able to create my OG curve that's tangent at point B, tangent at point C, and is tangent in the middle. So just to summarize my steps, I'm going to erase everything. First thing I do is I'm going to draw a line from B to C. I'm going to divide this line equally into four parts. I'm going to drop perpendiculars from points B and C. I can use the rotate with a copy tool. I'm going to extend this line to there. I'm going to use the copy command. Pick that as my base point. This is my end point. I'll generate an intersection here and an intersection here. If I create two circles that this is my center, my radius is to point B, this is my center, point C is my radius, these two circles will be tangent with each other at the midpoint of line BC. They're tangent at point B, tangent at point C. Now I just need to clean this up with the trim command. So hopefully you found the steps easy to repeat for creating an OG curve. And I look forward to helping you out in further projects. Thanks.